que no hay un huracán en todo el planeta, en toda la historia, que haya llegado en la velocidad de sus vientos a 325 kilómetros por hora. Here the storm is going to go directly into the center of Mexico. Places, you know, that don't even normally experience a lot of rain uh, are going to experience very large amounts of rain in a short period of time. This is Iztapalapa, a densely populated area of urban sprawl which makes up one-fifth of Mexico City. Given the Mexican capital's rapid and often unplanned expansion onto areas of swampland in the east, this district suffers a yearly onslaught of flooding which displaces families and often destroys the lives of those affected. Last Friday saw 83 millimeters of rain fall, flooding Iztapalapa and evacuating 125 families, including that of Alfredo Guzman, who was only able to return to his home on Tuesday. We worry ourselves to death when it starts to rain. Our houses can collapse, our possessions are often ruined, and waterborne diseases are very common. Last weekend's floodwaters destroyed the interior of Manuel Perez's taxi, preventing him from working. Another resident, Jose Gonzalez, says that even the half-metre concrete barricades he has installed in front of his property are not enough to keep the floodwaters at bay. In, in this area, the street turns into a river, but now my house floods from within as water enters through the overloaded sewers, entering via the shower, sinks and toilets. Mexico City was originally constructed on a lake, which was gradually drained as the capital expanded. Today, lacking proper infrastructure, its more impoverished areas suffer from flooding every rainy season. Mis cuatro hijos, mis tres nietos y una nuera. Ajá, pero el más chiquito no lo ha encontrado. Él tiene un año. Me revolcó el agua hasta aquí. Me, me, me salvé. Lo pasé un, una mata de arreya. Ay, me salvé. La agarré y ya no lo puede ser.
When residents in the eastern Mexican state of Veracruz woke up one morning, they found that a nearby river had literally disappeared overnight. Local media report that a sinkhole is to blame for draining the Atoyac River during the night of Sunday, February 28th. Residents in Rancho San Fermin said they heard a loud bang during the night, followed by rumbling. Juana Sanchez, a woman who lives nearby, told the Spanish news agency EFE that locals noticed that taps were not working on Monday. Sanchez said they went to the river to see what was wrong and found a huge hole had formed and was swallowing the water. Provincial authorities said a crack nearly 100 feet long had opened up, crossing the riverbed almost two miles from the river's estuary, which provides fresh water for more than 10,000 families in the region. Experts believe the river's disappearance may be due to the area's unstable limestone foundation. For Newsbeat Social, I'm Cambry Caldwell.